Welcome to GTV. Today I will be showing you how to connect cables to Cooper Interconnect's Canlock Single Pole Easy 1016 and 1018 models. First, I will measure the diameter of the cable jacket. The sleeve over here should be cut to the diameter. For demonstration purposes, I will be using a one aught cable. I will slide the cable through the cable jacket and then measure the size of the back side of the cam lock. I will need to strip the cable long enough to make a proper connection, but not too long to have exposed wires. I will then wrap the cable with the copper shim. I may need to use two shims for smaller cables. After the cable is wrapped with the shim, I can wrap the strain relief clamp on the insulated portion of the cable and then twist it tightly about three to four times, ensuring the wire bites into the cable and then a few more loose turns. Then I can bend the wire parallel to the cable and trim the wire so that it is flush with the cable. When using 4 aught cable, the strain relief would need to be opposite the drive pin. For all other cables, like this one here, the strain relief will need to be placed opposite the set screws. Now I can secure my connection by using a hex wrench to tighten the set screw. I can now line up the button on the contact with the mate arrow on the sleeve and then push the sleeve over the contact. Then I can tighten the black retaining screw for a secure connection. To learn more about the Camlock connectors from Cooper Interconnect, check out our other videos on GTV. Cooper Interconnect's Camlock Single Pole Easy 1016 and 1018 models, along with thousands of other products and services, are available at galco.com.